Newbury is a mid-sized market town located in the English county of Berkshire. It is interesting in that unlike other English towns, it retains some medieval styled town layout and several structures going back to the 1400s. It is also a great example of an ever economically self-evolving town, constantly trying to keep up with the times. Records of settlements at Newbury go back to the Mesolithic period, which goes all the way back to 15,000 years ago. The town Newbury itself was founded in the late 11th century, following the Norman conquest as a new borough. That's where it gets its name from, New Borough, Newbury. Mentioned in the Doomsday Book, Newbury was recorded to have several unfree peasants whose labour belonged to the Lord. Although there was no solid proof of past royal residences, Newbury was visited several times by King John, then Henry III on hunting trips. Newbury Bridge was first built in the 1300s, then rebuilt in the 1600s, and finally again in the 1700s, which is the one that still stands today. Historically, Newbury's economy was built on the cloth trade and is thought to have been home to the first cloth factory in England. In the 1640s, Newbury was the site of the English Civil War, where the nearby castle of Donington was reduced to ruins by the parliamentarians. Make sure to check out that video. The war led to the total disruption of the cloth trade in England and resulted in Newbury falling into poverty. By the 18th century, Newbury had found its new economic model, being the midpoint between London and Bath. This allowed Newbury to host wealthy nobles from London on their way to the resort town of Bath, which resulted in Newbury building lots of new inns of varying grandeur, as well as a theatre for entertainment featuring major actors of the time. In the 1720s, navigation was made between the River Kennet and the River Thames in Reading. Not too long after, work on the Kennet and Avon Canal started, which was finished in 1810. It was in Newbury in the 1790s when local magistrates met at the Georgian Pelican Inn to tie in the cost of welfare to the cost of bread. In the 1840s, Great Western Railway opened the line to Bath, which once again had a bad effect on Newbury, killing off the use of the canal. Newbury didn't get its own railway station for another seven years and wasn't even joined to the main line. It was in the early 20th century when Newbury was finally connected to the main line. Now in the 1900s, Newbury's economy was mainly built on agriculture and horse racing. In the 1940s, German bombers dropped several bombs on Newbury and several buildings were destroyed and many damaged. In the 1980s, electronics firm Rakal, now Vodafone, opened its headquarters in Newbury. Today, Newbury is still home to Vodafone headquarters, as well as acting as something as a small tech hub, which has allowed the town today to return to prosperity. Newbury's Greenham Common used to be a Royal Air Force station and was also the site of nuclear weapons launchers. Eventually, the RAF base was closed due to local opposition and the runway was broken up and used in the Newbury Bypass. In 2000, Greenham Common was reopened to the public. If you want to visit Newbury, you can get to it by all means of public and private transport as it's very well connected. The town itself is very picturesque and there are a bunch of things to do including several notable parks, about a million historic sites, the Kennet and Avon Canal, now back in use, shopping, local markets, gin tasting, rugby, golf, racehorsing, manor houses and surrounding castles, lots of surviving inns and even an indoor rainforest. 